Hello everyone. So in this video, let me show you something uh, really useful and uh, I'm sure you will appreciate this. Now when you're working with org mode and when you're trying to maybe write an article or maybe write a book or whatever you're doing, you may want to do a, a bit of formatting. For example, uh, you may want uh, some sentences or maybe titles to appear in bold. Bold is of course one simple thing. And apart from bold, you may want uh, some of those uh, <laughs> uh, titles or whatever word or sentence to appear in uh, italics or underline. So basically if you're doing these uh, simple things, then uh, usually or by default, the, the uh, markers that are used to make these uh, words appear as bold will also display and let me let me show you what i mean so if you look at uh, this particular uh, example so right now we have this uh, line which is uh, in bold and of course we have something similar here which is uh, you know in italics underline and code and so on so this is not really showing the markers so i can actually disable it and uh, there is a command there is a there is no, not really a command but a variable that you can use to basically hide these markers which in my case right now they are hidden so there is a variable called org hide emphasis markers which uh, you can uh, uh, which you can set to maybe hide or unhide so by default it, it, it is basically not hidden and let me just you know revert it so i'll run this code and uh, I'll go back to the previous uh, buffer, well, not the buffer, but you know the, the previous slide. So if you look at this particular bold, this is bold. This is in bold, but uh, you can see here asterisk. At the same time, for italics, you can see these uh, forward slashes. For underline, you can see these uh, underscore and so on. So this is totally fine with me because I don't really mind uh, asterisks. In fact, it is good. I prefer it because I know that this particular uh, word or a couple of words or maybe a sentence is using these uh, you know markers. Now, when you're presenting, when you are uh, maybe using org tree slide mode, you may want to hide these things. And that is what you can do using uh, this particular uh, variable. And uh, let me just uh, change it back to T. I'll run it. And uh, we also have results, which I don't really want. So I'll just you know, remove it myself. I mean, you can also uh, run this without displaying the results. So this is something that you can do. However, I was looking at one uh, Stack Overflow article or a post where I learned that you can actually toggle this so you can actually create your own function uh, this one which is uh, right now on the screen and uh, i'll don't worry about the article i mean it is basically from stack overflow so using this particular function which you can of course uh, put in your init file emacs init file and uh, you can also use uh, one key binding for example which which in my case is control c and e and it is of course very convenient so let me show you how it works so because i, I want to toggle it because i want this uh, particular uh, uh, th these markers to be not hidden by default but whenever i have to i can hide them using this uh, key binding which is uh, control c and e which is uh, of course uh, going to come into effect the moment you come to this particular line and uh, maybe you can press enter so let me just do it one more time control c and e and yes so this is right now <clears throat> right now of course uh, uh, not displaying those markers and you can press it again and uh, now it is it's a very simple thing but i personally find it uh, very useful because uh, i use org mode for uh, <laughs> presenting using org, org tree slide mode or tree slide mode and at the same time i don't really want people to 
always notice no, notice the, the, the these at asterisks or slashes because it can be a bit confusing for uh, people who are not familiar with org mode and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about and cover in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much